I have given you a very one second. A very basic understanding of this floating and fixed. Okay, floating and fixed. You have to now. It is very easy to remember. Just follow the process. Okay. So first of all, when we say look back, what does that mean? Suppose we started the option over here, and during we, we are ending the option over here. During the entire period, during the maturity, the option is going to go up and down. The underlying asset is going to go up and down, right? So during this entire period, okay, we will choose a particular price, and that can be the minimum price or that can be the maximum price. We'll use it. So look back means when you reach at the maturity, you will look at the asset price from the start of the option till the maturity, okay, and primarily on the basis of that you will choose either the minimum or the maximum price, okay. So how exactly it is used? So when we look at look back option, there are two parts to it: floating and fixed. Now you have to remember it in this way: floating. The word when you hear the word floating. you have to always remember and you can write it down in your book float the strike price float the strike price okay that you have to remember now how 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 to use it suppose it's a floating look back call floating look back call what is the basic structure of call st which is a what is this st st is the price of the asset at maturity right and what is this k k is nothing but the strike price so this is a normal call option right the next is the, so how for a floating look back call you just remove this k and you take the minimum price of the asset during that period from the start of the option till the maturity of the option whatever was the asset price whatever is the minimum price you are taking it so you are removing so when you say floating you are floating the k that means you are not taking the k as an you know, amount which was discussed you are actually taking the minimum price is everybody okay with the first example floating look back call it can be 52 weeks it can be any maturity the next part the next part second look at the floating look back put what is the basic structure of put k minus st right what is st the price of the asset at maturity right what is the k part okay you are taking you are not taking k but what you are doing is you are simply taking the maximum price of that underlying asset during that period all good how do you remember If you, now this is an example of call huh? ideally it should be st minus k float the strike price because it is a floating look back option right taking you towards the book now i want you guys to read from here till this point is everybody able to understand the logic the next part floating the floating look back call option and also read this sorry i didn't mention this read this also because we talked about the put option also please read this part also this is connected to a put option right now in the call option how can you remember what are the basic structure st minus k we know that this is a floating part so k will not be there so what can maximize my payoff taking maximum value or minimum value come on guys you you have to tell me when it's a call option taking maximum value or minimum value which value will maximize my payoff 
एस टी माइनस मिनिमम राइट कैन आई टॉक अबाउट पुट ऑप्शन कैन आई टॉक अबाउट पुट ऑप्शन इट हैज टू बी आइडली के माइनस एस टी बट आई कैनॉट टेक के सो इंस्टेड ऑफ के वॉट शुड आई पुट इट विल मैक्सिमाइज माई पे ऑफ मैक्सिमम प्राइस simple you have to think it that way now when we talk about the next part which is a fixed one okay i am going to take you to the reference over here now see from the word fixed look back means keep the k fixed strike fix and float what st float what st okay so the basic structure is same for a call but instead of k now we're going to float st and what will maximize your payoff if i put maximum price over here right same logic same logic if you look at put option k minus st but this is a fixed look back so i will have to keep the strike price fixed and float what st and if it's a put option what will help me to maximize the entire payoff by taking minimum price over here right how do you remember this okay fix the strike and float the stock price this is an example of call if i ask you to read this entire paragraph kindly complete the same monica you your see please monica please isko rato mat aap aap understand kariye basic concepts ko किस में आपका पे ऑफ बढ़ेगा वे आर द पे ऑफ इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज यू हैव टू थिंक इट दैट वे आई आई मेड इट वेरी सिंपल फॉर यू इफ इट्स अ फ्लोटिंग लुक बैक व्हाट इज गोइंग टू फ्लोट स्ट्राइक इफ इट्स अ फिक्स्ड लुक बैक व्हाट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन फिक्स स्ट्राइक सो व्हाट विल फ्लोट एसटी नाउ वेदर यू हैव टू यूज मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम आस्क अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट विल मैक्सिमाइज माय पे ऑफ एंड यूज दैट राइट राइट मोनिका आर वी क्लियर if there is still a query don't worry i will address it later don't worry we'll we'll address it at the later point don't worry after the lecture read this entire paragraph see over here in this example we were taking minimum or maximum in such a way that will maximize my payoff that will maximize my payoff so obviously look back option should have a higher premium than a normal option right 